it. As I told you that we are going to start a new series on storage protection, right? So this is the second video of that series. And today I'm just going to start about group A plastic. Last week, we talked about class one to class four commodities, right? So this week we are gonna talk about group A plastic. When we talk about group A plastic, these four words that one we can see at the screen or the four parameters, it is the one who is going to influence the design of group A plastic and that is if it is expanded plastic or unexpanded plastic, either it is exposed or cartoon. So what are those four things? I will try to explain you, you know, because these four are the one which is going to influence the design uh, of your spindler system uh, mainly. Okay, so in order to understand group A plastic, as I said, it the four word that is going to influence that one, which is expanded, unexpanded, exposed, and cartooned. So with this figure, I'm just going to explain about what is expanded and what is unexpanded plastic, right? So in fact, you know, back in 2012, I was working with a, a thermocol industry in Riyadh and where I was, you know, so much exposed to those kind of that stuff, you know, uh, uh, so the process is start from this one. We call it resin, EPS resin or expanded plastic resins. So they mostly get these items from the petrochemical industry, you know, as a, a raw material. So they put this resin inside. This is the resins. They put this resin inside a expander. Yeah, inside the expander, they apply the steam and they do the process to change the size of the resins from this small size to this much big size. And then once they make the beads, we call it, you know, uh, uh, polystyrene beads. Now they put this one in the molding and they get different kind of the shape, like the hot blocks or uh, some kind of the packaging item, the one you can see. So this one, the first stage, it is unexpanded plastic and we convert to the expand this plastic in the process. And when it expands, they put inside the molds. Now the mold is of the certain size which make the products. And then we comes to uh, our um, household or mass of the industries for the packaging items or different kind of the insulation materials. Anyway, this is not the part of this series. I'm just trying to explain what is the meaning of unexpanded and expanded plastic. We look at all of the those in NFPA 13. So let's see what is the definition of these two. What is uh, expanded plastic and what is unexpanded plastic? Okay, so if you see in FVA 13, 2022 edition in 369, they defined expanded foamed or cellular plastic is the plastic, those plastic, the density of which is reduced by the presence of a numerous small cavities interconnecting or not dispersed throw out their mass, right? So this is the expanded plastic. How about the exposed plastic, right? So exposed plastic, if you see 370, it is that those plastic are considered exposed, right? So this is what NFE define about expanded plastic or exposed plastic. Exposed means something which is not within the cartoon, right? So let me uh, clear one thing. So why expanded plastic is more severe than the unexpanded plastic, right? As I says, 24.5.1 says that group A plastic, it's mainly depends either it is cartoon or uncartoon. Uh, which is exposed to one, or it is expanded or unexpanded. So the next question come to your mind, what makes exposed 
not exposed, I'm sorry, uh, expanded plastic more challenging to extinguish in case of the fire, right? So what I try to get those answers, you know, exposed plastic have numerical, numerous small cavity throughout the mass, right? Like a styrofoam. Unexposed plastic are solid throughout their mass, right? So these are the two definitions. And we'll see in NFA 13 table in page number uh, and, and in the annex section, what are the different kinds of the things we consider exposed or unexposed as NFA defined. Okay, so let's uh, see about uh, these four things here. So here we have the first one, which is unexpanded plastic, and then we have the expanded plastic. So unexpanded plastic, as I said, which is equal to our their mass or it is not expanded, right? Something we got uh, material like this. Uh, the first stage, we didn't do any expansion to that and we make the product, the solid products like the razor and different kind of the, you know, uh, yogurt cans and all, we'll see that one. So unexpanded plastic, these are the two examples of unexpanded plastic. And if it is if it is inside carton, so it is unexpanded plastic within the carton. Or if it is without carton, we, call, we can say it is exposed one. Now, expanded plastic here, you can see if it is in cartoons and we can say expanded cartoon plastic or if it is exposed like here, you can see it is not inside the packaging. There's a scape in the warehouse, right? Or any kind of a factory. So that is the exposed one. This four figure, I, I hope uh, uh, cleared all of your doubt regarding this expanded or unexpanded plastic.